going to school. When I was little, I went to school. Not my nursery school, but a big school. Wooly came too. Before I went to school, me and my mummy went to see it. A nice lady showed us the big school. Who's this, Lily? Would you like to come and show Lily something kind of school? There were lots of rooms. There were lots of stairs. They were pegs to hang up our coats. They were toilets. I like the toilets. They have lots of basins. Then the nice lady showed us into a room with lots of pictures and chairs. And this is Miss Sanderson. She's going to be your teacher. This will be your classroom, Teg. Miss Sanderson will be your teacher. I liked Miss Sanderson. She smiled at me. Miss Sanderson showed me my classroom. That's right. There were tables for writing, play areas just like nursery. I had my very own draw. Then I met a girl called Julia. Julia, she's going to be your buddy when you come to school. Julia was my buddy. Julia gave me a book all about her. I liked my new big school. Mummy bought me new clothes for school. They were clothes just like Julia's. OK, Teg, do you want to go and try on your uniform? Yes, When Daddy came home, he didn't know who I was. Who's this? Tech. No, you can't be Teg. Oh, it is Teg. <laughs> yeah. Funny, Daddy. And here's your bag, Teg. Thank you, Mummy. You're all set for school. Yeah. On my first day at my new big school, I was very excited. We hung up our coats. In my classroom, Miss Sanson let us choose what to do. I played just like at nursery. I knew some of the children. They were at my nursery. Yippee! Later, Miss Sanderson said to sit down. Now, boys and girls, we are going to do some letter work. We did sounds. We did shapes. And swap. We learnt letters. Miss Sanson showed us how to write letters. Go up, down, with a tail. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Those are wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanson. Ping! My pencil broke. I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig. You broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and 
and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanson. Oh, that's no worries. I'll give you a new one. No worries, said Miss Sanson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Sanson. When I wanted to go to the toilet, Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Yes, Chick? I've lost Willie. OK. I told Miss Sanson. I was so worried. Miss Sanson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. After school, when I got home, I was very tired. How's your first day at school? I was grumpy. I didn't want to talk. I wanted to hold poor Willie. Hey, Tig! You've had your first day at school. You're very tired. But what has made you even more tired is losing me. Maybe tomorrow you should leave me here at home. No, Willie, I'll never I'll never leave you. But you left me today and I got lost. School is a busy place. You don't want me to get lost again. I love you, Willie. And I love you too, Tig. I'll be here waiting for you every day, like Mummy and Daddy. Yippee! Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I love Willie. I love Mummy and Daddy. I like them safe at home. Going to school the next day was exciting. We did gym. We did counting. We played. Miss Sanson read us a story. I hugged a frog and thought of Willie. When I came home, Willie was waiting for me. I'm only a toy spider. Then I told Willie and Mummy and Daddy all about my day at school. And then after break, we I like going to school. I like coming home. I love Willie.